good afternoon everybody so i filmed a clip earlier today it was kind of like an update of something i was doing in the last vlog and i i um stuck that in there so this will be the first vlog started in 2018 but for 2019 um i want to show you a couple of things <clears throat> so we are going over to um our friends hi to jamie and the girls tonight for she calls it happy dinner which is like hors d'oeuvre appetizer dinner <laughs> we just have we're a bunch of stuff some crab cakes and i i showed you guys in the in the last vlog the recipe for reuben dip i'm bringing the velveeta chili mixture thing and i anyway i just thought i would show you what's going on here this is the i found some pound cake like um pre-sliced it was called loaf cake actually it's close enough to pound cake so i cut that up into cubes some marshmallows particularly for bella if that girl could eat marshmallows for her entire diet she'd probably be happy these are the brownies i cut up in chunks and then we're gonna bananas and strawberries and then this is just rye bread so normally pumpernickel rye to be uh, to be not honest to be um exact so and this by the way last year i used your deli um, milk chocolate chips I couldn't find them this year so I just bought the Hershey's real milk chocolate chips and then I just mix it with some uh, cream two-thirds cup cream if I remember correctly like heavy whipping cream you just bring that kind of to simmer or whatever you know in your fondue pot and add the chocolate chips and call it a day so um, anyway, normally for Reuben dip, I buy those, you know, like in the deli section, you can buy this like little tiny loaf of dry or a, it's really dry, dry rye bread, um, squares. I normally buy that, but then we waste so many of them because you don't use them all. So this time I decided to buy pumpernickel rye, which is my favorite, um, like to have like a grilled cheese on. And I decided to buy that and I just cut it into fourths and made a plate of that. And I would think... There's plenty. I think I did one, two, three, four, five, seven, eight, nine, ten. I did ten slices. And again, there are four of us adults and then the girls. The girls won't eat the Reuben dip. There's sauerkraut in it, and I just don't think they're like that. And I'm not sure if I will either, so it might just be the three of us, me, Jamie, and Bob. But anyway, I also wanted to show you guys that it is a snow globe outside. What did it say we were supposed to get, honey? Forty to ninety. Forty to ninety inches. Really? How much did it really say we're supposed to get? One to three. Oh. I'm not sure if you guys can tell, but it is it is blustery out there. Would you like to say hello? Hello. Well, it was all zoomed in on you. Sorry. I mean, I don't want to get all the ladies turned on by you, honey. Right. Right? <laughs> uh, anyway, so. Simmer down. Yes, simmer down now. So, yeah, it is. Um, and it just kind of came on in the last hour, really. Yep. So, I, as you guys probably saw in the last vlog, I've been up, I don't know, I got up pretty early, but not super early, and I have gotten a bunch of things done. I did both closets, you guys saw that, and now I am in the midst of shredding. So, I've made some progress. There's a pile I'm working on, the pile there that I have left. This is what happens, though. My shredder just, it can only take so much, and then it shuts itself off while it cools down and then I can hear it because I have it on auto so I'll hear it kick back in and then I'll come in and I'll shred till it shuts down again and I'll just do that for the next however many days it takes for me to get it accomplished I'm working on some laundry I just edited the vlog and um, it is currently converting over and then I will upload it so I don't have any more of an update. I, I, I know you guys, so I feel confident, even though this vlog isn't up, that I can say thank you for your kind words and your prayers because I know how you guys will be. Um, here. Okay, guys. Maybe I just can't tell on the camera if you can see how much it's coming down, but uh, the, the uh, grass was totally showing like 30 minutes ago. It sound, according to Bob, if we're only supposed to get one to three, then it must just be coming in a very quick hurry. So, anyway, um, as far as my uncle, thank you, because I, I just know how you guys are, so I'm quite certain that you have sent me lots of love and prayers, um, and him and my family. So, he is, um, definitely was dislocation, the CT scan was clear, um, he is still in a fair amount of pain, so... 
they have him, he's in the hospital, and, um, you know, just kind of day by day right now to see what happens, um, where he's going to be after. Obviously, he's not going to be able to live, live alone. Um, he uses a walker, and if he has a dislocated right shoulder, he's not going to be able to be in his home, so... That's tough. So prayers for all of that, please, because that's hard for him. It's hard on the family. It's just hard in general. So, sorry about that. Um, <clears throat> I am hopefully going to um, go see him. It doesn't. Doesn't don't know if he really wanted to see anybody. I couldn't really tell when I was talking to my cousin. Um, so I'll probably force my way down wherever he is next week and see him. Um, my parents are, are currently gone for the weekend, but every, we're all keeping in touch with each other. So, he, what time is it anyway? 2.20, and by an hour we're heading over to Heidi and Jamie's, and we're just going to hang out with them and watch some movies. A movie, probably, The Christmas Chronicles. We haven't seen it yet, and we saved it to watch with the girls. Um, and yeah, that's what's going to go on. So I'll, I will take the camera with me, probably, or I'll bring my phone, of course, and I'll film on my phone. Um, some clips of what we're eating, and um, Jamie's making crab cakes, and I'll just get you some clips of the of the fun and frolic that we have. So, wanted to give you that update. Say thank you. I'm saying it in advance, but I just know you guys, and I know how you show love and care for me and my family. So, thank you for that, and we'll see you in a little bit. And this is how I'm going, by the way. <laughs> this actually, I should show you guys. I'll look to see if I can find the name of this. Um, the brand of this sweatshirt. I got it at a local bo boutique here in town. It's called, what is the boutique called? Um, oh my gosh, why can't I think of it? I swear I cannot think of it. Tumbleweed. That's what it's called, tumbleweed. So I got this there. And these, so these leggings are just from Maurice's. And they're kind of like the workout more material leggings versus like a hangout but it's fine. And then this, this sweatshirt, I love this. It's very cozy, soft, um, just really comfortable. I have, I've enjoyed it. Um, so yeah, that's what's happening. Um, I'm going to go finish getting that uploaded and hopefully remember to fill out everything in the description box that I need to. Um, oh, I was going to show you guys this jacket I got. Let me see this. Hold on. Let me just set you right here. I'm going to put it over this because I'm not changing just to show you this. But I, if you guys haven't checked out the jackets at Maurice's, I really like them. And this one was on sale. It was originally seven, it was originally 80 and I got it for 45, I think. Um, let me see if it says anything on here. It doesn't, but it's this brown full leather, but I love their jackets, particularly if you have a little bit larger arm like I do. It has the, on the inside of the arm, it has material. So it, I broke it now by the way, in case you are wondering what that's about. It's not a statement. I broke it now. Uh, anyway, so this, I just love how their jackets, I love how they wear. I've had, I've had so many of them over the years. And I get them in a two. They, in their plus sizes, they run like zero, one, two, three, four. Um, and I get them in a two because I want to be able to wear them with a t-shirt. I want to be able to wear them with a sweatshirt or with a sweater. So I thought this might be a good... Um, weight jacket to take to Arizona. So I'm not sure if you can tell how cute it really sits, um, but I really like it a lot. It's just when it's very, they're very comfortable because they have that, they have that same knit material right here. So they're really comfortable. So there you go. I had this sitting here so that I wouldn't forget to show you. Now I'm going to hang it. So we are, we're yeah. working on our first yeah. course yeah. here. Which is crab cake that Jamie made. I don't get a this one's here. No. Why you gotta be so sassy? So here we go. The key is to the key is to um, is it eat good? it first without anything on it. Is it good? I don't eat it. Really good. Here's your chili really good, queso. Yeah. <laughs> I could get the actual camera. This is your first time having chili cheese dip? I don't get any cocktail sauce. It's good, oh, isn't it? First? It's a crowd yeah, pleaser. The All right, Girls, look. we are ready to, <laughs> to have some fondue. It is like nine o'clock, and she's still. I know. Up. Well, to grab your favorite color, you got blue. We should have sent her to basketball practice with you. 
<laughs> we should have sent you the best, but probably yeah, okay, honey, that's just not. John, <laughs> Coach didn't make us run too much. Though. Well, that's good. Ah! You're supposed to be setting the example. Hey. Aaliyah, <laughs> 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 well, yeah, look at this picture. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Bob has something right. to show you. Bob. No. AJ would like Bob to show you something. <laughs> he's just going to eat. If not, I will load it up onto my phone fondue. and send it Aaliyah. to you. Aaliyah. I'll tell you here. What did, tell them what he did. He was, I'm just like, Bob, Bob tried to floss. And he's just well, like, he's like. You said try. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay, now, it's on now. Sorry, honey. Okay. Uh -huh. okay, so these are the dogs. This is Buddy. He's a Labrador Retriever mixed with, we're not sure. <laughs> we rescued him in Minnesota. Okay. And this is Molly. She's new. We rescued her from, we rescued her here, Alabama. She came from Alabama. And she is a Beagle mixed with, we think, a Boston Terrier. You're so cute. Right, Molly. It's the end of the night. They're tuckered Yeah, out, they're right? tired. But. He is always generally calm, so he likes to do like therapy dog stuff. Mm -hmm. And I take him places for therapy dog stuff. And he's a canine good citizen. No, Molly's part of St. Bernard. She is not. <laughs> and she's pretty calm too, but we're working on it. She gets a little bit excited sometimes. Mm -hmm. Tell them what she did to my slipper. Um, She took out Kristen's insert from her <laughs> slipper oh, yeah, you're and tore calm. it to pieces. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. yeah. And Kristen uh. might want to. January 2nd, back to work. <laughs> um, this morning I had candy cane coffee. I already took it out. Um, from my 12 days of coffee, and it was delightful. I'm telling you, that one from Aldi is the best one. And I think I found that same one um, online. Long story. But I had saved a website on my old laptop, and in my cleaning frenzy, I had powered on that old laptop, saw the saw the bookmark and was like, oh right, so I took a picture of it. So I'm gonna see if I if I can find some and order some more. I'll link it below for you guys. But um what did I come out here for? Or oh, I want some more coffee. <laughs> I need I just wanted to take a quick break, say hello to you guys. Um take a quick break from Amos and I was just laughing about something earlier. So earlier I was watching oh goodness. She's a twenty something um, but uh, she does a body positive, I don't know, I get a kick out of her channel. So, I just found her recently, Sherry something? I'll, I, I will do my best to list it below for you guys. So, anyway, I was watching her and she was reviewing some merch that another YouTuber had done. Um, and <laughs> she said, to one of the pieces, she said something like, um, you know, this might appeal to her younger fans, but this appeals to her older fans like me. This Sherry something is like, tw or this Sherry, whatever her name is, she's like 20-something. Like 22. <laughs> I was like, oh boy. If she's old, I'm in big trouble because, whew, I am turning 46 here in a couple months. And so, goodness gracious. Okay, well, that bruise. I, I just, I mean, it's just cracking me up. So, anyway. I wanted to tell you guys, I wanted to report in here that the shredding is done. I finished it yesterday. I had three big bags of shredding that will go out with the recycling. I was just looking for my, I must have, I must have brought it in. I'm working, so I've, I, you probably can't tell, but I have done some cleaning. This is stuff that I need to haul, but uh, I went through all of these drawers in this chest right here me that chest right there and uh, I need to go through this this cabinet here that my dad made for me I'm gonna go through all my drawers do a big old clean out donate 
send a bunch of boxes like I did the last time off to Project Beauty Share. I wanted to open these blinds or these curtains. I can't wait till the blinds come in. Um, and actually, I, I just don't know what I've vlogged and what I haven't vlogged. So I apologize if what I'm about to tell you um, is already, I've already told you. But so we did, the day after Christmas, the gal came over and measured for the blinds in here, in the living room, and then the two bedrooms. Poor Bob, he had no idea how much blinds cost. <laughs> well, honey. <laughs> oh, goodness. So the blinds are ordered. They're about three weeks. And then I had to contact the guy that does like our handyman sort of things to have the piece of wood. Let's see if I can show you without you getting blinded out by the, by the light. See this? Because this used to be two windows. So there's this piece on the top and the bottom of every of our four windows. So he's going to come and sometimes in the next few weeks here. And... Um, I have to wash my brushes on my lunch or walk on my lunch, one or the other, I haven't decided. I need to put the, this is my Goodwill bag I need to put into my car. So I need to run to good now. <laughs> yeah, I'm not walking on my lunch. I need to run to, I would like to, but I need to run to Goodwill on my lunch today. And I need to run to the post office. I haven't checked my box in a while. And I need to take the, I ordered three different black shirts to go with this skirt, this plaid skirt that I have for New Year's, or no, for Christmas. None of them, I because I felt like a pile of junk, I think. Um, I just didn't feel like any of them looked good, so I turned them on. Um, all I did was try them on. I didn't wear them or anything. And so that's why I need to go to the post office to return those. And I feel like it's going to be a three cup of coffee day. <clears throat> so, yeah, I was telling a friend this morning, I just feel a little off, and I'm sure everybody feels like that after, after the break, but I don't know, I just feel a little off, <laughs> and I think that it's everything that's gone on with my uncle, um, he is doing better, by the way, um, mom and dad were able to see him yesterday, and... We were going to go yesterday to see him, and um, because Mom and Dad were there, we, they just felt like he would be too tired. So he's going to go have to go to a rehab facility because, um, all right, I'm sorry, there's a little pause there for um, weird things going on with my computer. <clears throat> I don't know, I don't know what. It's all of a sudden my computer is saying that it's full, and I can't figure out if my emails are held on my computer or not. Like, I'm I'm a little bit savvy, but I'm not quite that savvy. So I don't, I need to go through and, I haven't cleaned up my emails in quite some time, so I'm going to clean those out and see if that helps any, because if they're stored, I thought they were stored on the exchange, and I, I don't know. Anyway, so he's going to have to go to a rehab facility, um... Because he walks with a walker, and it's his right shoulder that was dislocated. And so, anyway, uh, I'm going to try, Bob and I are going to go, I was going to go this week, thinking like in my head that, putting a blanket on my lap, in my head like that today is Monday, but it's Wednesday. <laughs> I just can't keep on track of what day it is. So, uh, we are going to go, um, AJ has basketball games on Saturday. And we are going to go in the morning. So I think we're going to go to those. And then we're going to head um, down to see my uncle. Um, so that's what's going on with that. Thank you again. I knew. I knew <laughs> so the other vlog has gone live. And I just knew that you guys. Um, I, I, I just knew that you guys would be caring and loving and, and prayerful for him. And so, I, again, I really appreciate you guys. Thank you. So, having said all of that, I'm going to, I, I obviously never did get to my hair, but it's fine. I really don't have anywhere to go aside from out and, as you can see, um, maybe you can't. It's, it's snowing a whole bunch. So I'm going to just be putting a hat on my head anyway. All right, I'm going to go and I'll see you guys later. All right, it is, oh shoot, 1040. I just remembered that I made a cup of coffee. 
while I was on this conference call and I was doing a bunch of stuff listening to this. It was a, you know, like kick off the year sort of a call um, with uh, my team. We have like <coughs> sales team, like sales team that is, I'm on the Midwest sales team because I'm in the Midwest. So I was making, I'll show you guys. They're not spectacular on their own, these packets, but they're okay mixed in with the coffee. So I'm sure it's like a double shot of coffee. And it has helped me a few times, but oh shoot, I threw the box away. But they're these, um, the Via Instants from Starbucks, and this is the peppermint mocha. I didn't like it just by itself, but mixed in with a cup of coffee, it's really good. But I bet this one is now cold. Mm. Warmish. Let's just give it a gentle move, shall we? So, <coughs> excuse me. I'll show you what I did. I'm just on it. Do you guys get like this after the first day or you just get like a bee in your bonnet to clean? So this is this cabinet that is out here. So I had all of these things in there in an organized fashion, but this is like most people have a junk drawer. We have a junk bin. So I pulled this out because I want Bob to go through. Um, but anyway, so I have some cups and plates, silverware, silverware, silverware. I mean, seriously. So anyway, down here we have our old Christmas, Christmas dishes that we're going to give to a friend of ours. Um, that bottom bin is extension cords, um, multiple sockets, that sort of thing that we may need throughout the year. The next one up is all different kinds of batteries and then a cribbage board because who doesn't keep a cribbage board handy? Um, those are my cookbooks. This is a, a bin that also has some things like our envelopes for church and so, you know, easy access. <clears throat> and some matches there that actually I meant to put up there so we could get in the drawer. And then the rest of it, I have some fly sweaters and a couple flashlights. So I need to go through these. We have all these cups. I don't know why. We don't use disposable cups. That's why we have them all probably, but... <laughs> So I need to, I'm probably going to donate some of them to Goodwill, the ones that are like, um, you know, completely packaged, haven't been opened. Um, these ones right here are really nice ones that I'll put in the camper. Um, I wish that they had covers though, but these are reusable, these ones. So anyway, <coughs> excuse me. That is what is going on, was going on while I was on my conference call, which was eh, just shy of an hour. And I also had like, cleaned up all the treats, um, put them in different smaller bags in there. I've asked Bob to eat what he wants and then um, toss what he doesn't. And we don't have very many left. The thing for some reason we have the most of is the peanut butter balls, which he will not let, he will eat all of those. But um, I'll show you. So we have this many peanut butter balls left, which is odd. We normally don't have any and he's whining about that. Um, we have four cornflake candies left. A little bit of toffee. Just thought I would show you guys since you guys were curious about this originally. And then I have some a little container of treats that my um, friend just gave me recently. So I have those in here. Those are not getting tossed, that's for sure. And then, um, oh, I was like, where's the other stuff? So in here, there are four of the chocolate cranberry bars six of the shortbreads, and then these are the brownies I just made for New Year's. And then these are the treats for my sister, which are both pretty full. <laughs> so Bob will start taking those um, a couple at a time in his lunch. Um, and he may choose to freeze some of them. I don't know. All I know is that I, I, I'm done. I can't. I cannot. You guys know. So, yeah. There you go. I am gonna go back to my emails and stuff. I have lots going on, but I need to, wanted to check in with you guys, show you guys what I did on my conference call. Heat up my coffee again, apparently, and I'm back at it. Good morning. It is Friday morning. I'm probably gonna end this log, the, the, <laughs> this log after this clip. Um, I, it's nine o'clock. I'm making my second cup of coffee, and. Uh, We'll see. I have most of the vlog already edited, so I just need, I'll just need to edit this clip so that I can get this up. So we have a little bit of a busy tomorrow. Um, and I, like I said, I will um, I'll be starting a new vlog, so I'll take you along as much as I can. So um, 
AJ has basketball games tomorrow, but Heidi has to go to a funeral and um, for a co like it's a co-worker's parent, I believe. So she's going to drop Bella off here at like quarter after 8, 8.30, something like that. So we're, I'm going to skip um, AJ's first game, which is at 8. She's a game at 8, 10, and 11. So I'm going to take I, Bob and I actually, because Bob's only going to work a couple hours tomorrow. We're going to take Bella with us to the game so that Heidi can go to the funeral and then we, which is good, then I get some Bella time. And we're going to watch AJ play. I get to break out my sweatshirt <laughs> that they gave me last year for my birthday, support their school. And then we are going to go from there, then she'll go home with, with her dad and with um, AJ. Uh, we, we call it Leah AJ. They do and we do AJ. Anyway, I'm all over the place. And I've only had one cup of coffee so far. I do need to turn off this light now that it is light out. And then we are going to go right from there to see my uncle. He has been moved, I, I think I said that, to a nursing rehab facility. And my goodness, all of a sudden the emails are just coming in left and right. Oh boy, so much going on, you guys. I can't even... <laughs> things popping up, things on my watch, things on my phone, things on my email. Anyway, so we are going to go visit my uncle. And just, you know, just hang out with him. And we won't stay long because I don't want to tire him out. But so we're going to go down and do that. And then my guess is we'll probably grab some dinner or something on the way back. And then Sunday we don't have anything aside from church. I want to go to either Appleton or Green Bay. Um, just look for a couple of things maybe for my trip to Arizona. I don't, I probably don't need anything. Let's be real. But there's a couple of things I want to pick up. Like not for the trip, but for the trip. So I'll, I'll explain later. Anyway, <laughs> with that being said, I'm going to go and see what's happening here. I hope that you guys had a great week. I know it was kind of a weird like half week of work and half week of not, depending on what your work schedule was and that sort of thing. But I hope you had a good start here 2019, and we'll see you in the next one. Bye. <laughs>